Okay, we got a 99 BMW Z3 with an ABS problem. That's what the customer brought it in for. He's been chasing this light for a while now. He's replaced multiple pieces and units on this and done wiring repair. Uh, I believe all the wheel speed sensors have been looked at or repaired or replaced. Also, the rear differential has a speed sensor that's been replaced. He's also had the module sent out, the ABS module sent out for repairs. Supposedly everything is good. So first things first, I want to get some data through the diagnostic link connector. It's under the hood because it's being an older unit. And I'm going to be watching the rear wheel speed sensors because that's where our trouble code keeps coming up for the left rear. So if I spin this, it spins both rear wheels. So as you can see, the ABS module is only displaying and outputting a speed for the right rear and nothing for the left rear. All right, so you guys saw on the scan data that we are not getting any uh, information for the left rear, but we are for the right rear. Now, I want to do one thing and get some just true raw data. And so I'm going to use the scope and check the basically sensor output to the module right here at the module and see if we get any wheel speed signals uh, arriving all the way up front here. And so I've got um, that blue and brown is going to be our left rear, so our trouble one. And then the two yellows there on the right, that's going to be our right rear. So I'm going to show you the capture of both and see what we get on the scope. All right, so I am connected to the left rear. I'm gonna go spin the wheel. And spun it and nothing comes up. So that kind of relates back to the scan data. All right, so now I'm hooked up to the right rear and spin the wheel. So there we go. So the right rear is giving us a speed signal. That is what the ABS computer is basically receiving and interpreting as vehicle acceleration from that corner. Now there's a couple different ways that we can go about trying to figure out exactly what the cause is. But again, this gentleman has been all over this vehicle, uh, doing so many things, trying so many things, and so on and so forth. So I think I want to try something in order to eliminate any other possibilities and so let me get set up for that and I'll show you what I want to try. So because these sensors produce what's referred to as a sine wave which is not a digital square wave it's a plus and minus uh, wave that crosses their zero line. Because of that type of signal and the voltage range I believe that I can send a signal up to the module and see if the module can interpret a signal and we'll be able to check the module, its integrity, how it interprets a signal and we'll be able to also check the wiring all the way up to the module through the chassis and be able to see if we might just truly have something wrong with either the sensor or the pickup in the either bearing or axle on that corner. So let's see, let's go here. Signal generator, we'll go sign two volts, signal on, and then we'll start. So, 
right now the scope is generating a sine wave and I've got it tapped into the connector in the rear where the ABS sensor plugs in. So I'm going to send it up through the harness to up here where I'm tapped in at the module and let's see. First we're going to check it on the scope, see if it makes it up here. Alright, so now I am going to send the signal from the rear of the car, the connector, where the ABS sensor plugs into the body harness. I've got the sensor unplugged and I've got my leads from the scope, the signal generator port on the scope. I've got that tapped into the body harness and then the other channel I've got uh, that I'm going to tap in here at the ABS unit and see if we can pick up the signal coming all the way up. All right, so there is that. Let me change the time. All right, so that is the signal that we're able to make with the scope and it's a sine wave and so I'm curious if this sine wave that we are making so we're feeding it to my leads let me get you a starting point so it's leaving from this port down to these yellow leads right there on the ABS connector on the harness side and so then it's gonna go all the way back up through the vehicle back up to this main connector and that's where we capture the signal now I want it to go into the module and we're gonna check the scanner see how that module interprets the signal if it's able to give it and create a, a mile per hour, then that tells us everything on the car is good and it's gonna be something physically on this corner. Now, whether it's a sensor or again, the, a, a bearing or an axle, wherever the pickup is, uh, we're gonna know we're isolating it to that corner. So I've got my key on. And today, it's, a, it's the next day, uh, I'm using the Autel. I know I started with the launch. Uh, I'm just curious as to how each tool works on this uh, year range vehicle. So let's see, just make sure we are communicating. Okay, so we are communicating. And so what we wanna do is go to live data. And we are concerned with this guy. Okay, so I've got it set to graph, and right now I don't have the signal generator tapped in, but I will connect it, and let's watch this, see if we can generate a speed. <laughs> there we go. So I, I quickly tapped in and untapped, because off camera I did try it, and if you leave it tapped in, it, it uh, wigs it out, so I'll show you. It knocks it out of communication for some reason. So let's uh, watch. We'll undo it. Back out. Let's see if we can talk again. All right, we can talk. And live data. So let's do a quick tap. There we go. On off. Okay, so we'll try it again. Um, I think when it wigs it out, it stops recording. So we'll do a quick tap again. Uh, but that is basically proven out that the module wiring and everything is good. So on off. So yeah, an increase in speed input based off a signal that we are generating 
through the scope right there, through the car, the whole harness, everything up to the module. Module interprets it and gives us a speed signal output. All right, and so because of that, I want to, let's see, get that removed and let's install a new sensor just to try. This one looks like it was not replaced. That guy right there. So I've got the scope running, still monitoring the same one. So let's see if I can do this. So I'm just simulating uh, as if the wheel was going by and that's the pickup. So we'll stop this and then okay so if you see that and then you see that I just now confirmed again uh, with the new sensor and waving the wrench in front of it both scope also pick it up and so does the scanner and again just like we saw with the signal generator that we were given it uh, it does interpret it and change it to speed so I think for right now best easiest thing is let's go ahead and replace the sensor we'll be able to spin the wheel and see if we get uh, a signal up there all right got the scanner going got the scope going new sensor is installed let's spin the wheel <laughs> there we go so let's uh, freeze this stop this and there we go we finally get a uh, true signal from the car as you can tell the two spins so that means for this last trouble code that the guy was chasing which is basically just one for the left rear sensor everything uh, axle or hub bearing whatever the pickup is good the wiring from here to the front is good all this last code was was a matter of a new sensor needing to be replaced or installed so that takes care of this we'll clear the codes we'll test drive it make sure it's good all right so let's see moment of truth let's go ahead and clear everything we're all put back together new sensors installed let's see if i have a lot of code since we were messing around with it we're gonna make sure to clear all that test drive it while watching the data and hopefully that should be it all right let me cycle the key after clearing codes Alright guys, looks like we are good to go. Alright guys, so no more wheel speed sensor codes, no more any lights on related to the uh, ABS system. 
Now some of you might get on here and tell me or say that there's different ways of figuring this out or I could have just done the sensor or so on and so forth. But for me, with the difficulty that the customer had with everything that he has done, I wanted to make sure to double check and be thorough and make sure that I don't make the wrong call or I don't just order a part, throw it on and have it not work and then waste money and time at that point. The other thing is I wanted to educate myself, figure out a feature on the scope that I haven't used up to this point in order to prove out something on the vehicle and also prove to myself how I can use this in the future by learning how to use it in this vehicle knowing that it could help me send a signal if the module was good it would interpret that and it worked so I've got that figured out and hopefully you guys found that useful so hopefully all the diag steps and everything that I did helps you guys out in the future this applies to all speed sensors that are two wire also would work with other type sensors and it's just a matter of diagnostic process and checking certain things and getting them verified and make sure that they're good I'll get this all wrapped up let the customer know he should be happy no more lights vehicles good and fixed so thank you for watching until next time that is it